Hello Crusaders, I'm Elijah Clegg. And I'm Chase Cerner. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. Don't forget, the two hour delay that was scheduled for Monday for teacher professional development has been cancelled. Monday will be a full day of school and will be on regular schedule. Now let's go to Mallory with a look at today's clubs. Thanks Elijah. The Archery Club will meet Tuesday after school in the cafeteria. The Euchre Club will also meet Tuesday next week since we'll dismiss early on Wednesday. The Books and Bites Club will not meet next week. Now back to Elijah for more news. Thanks, Mallory. The results are in, Crusaders. Let's check out the final canned food drive class totals. Awesome job, Crusaders! We smashed our goal of 10,000 cans, which means we'll dismiss at 1.30 on Wednesday. Congrats to the freshman class for winning the class competition. We juniors made a run at it this morning with more than 700 cans, but the freshmen prevailed. Thanks a lot, Mr. Black. It's not just about the class competition, though. We should all be proud that we helped St. Vincent de Paul can hunger. The truck will be here this afternoon to pick up the cans. Teachers, any 8th period class who can help load the cans onto the truck should meet by the hospitality room today. Now let's go to Owen with a look at our Crusader sports. Thanks Elijah. As many of you know, Maddie Burial recently signed a letter of intent to play volleyball at LaSalle University next year. Miles Days and Isabella Rosales have more on Maddie's signing. Last week, Maddie signed to play volleyball at LaSalle University. Maddie went to Holy Spirit and played since third grade. She chose LaSalle because she likes the coaching staff. I found mainly because of the coaching staff, but I also really like the campus and their volleyball program. 
As a Cena, her favorite things was winning sessionals this year. When she played club eighth grade year, she knew she wanted to play volleyball in college. I think I've always kind of known, but when I started playing club my eighth grade year, that really like made me love it. She is looking forward to meeting new people. I think I'm most looking forward to just like moving to a new city and meeting new people and just like playing volleyball at the highest level. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Thanks, guys, and congrats, Maddie. Tonight, the girls' basketball teams will host conference rival Speedway. The JV team will take the court at 6 p.m. with the varsity game following at 7.30. Tomorrow, the boys' varsity basketball team will play in a scrimmage at New Palestine at 10 a.m. Good luck, Crusaders. In other sports news, winter sports photos have been rescheduled for December 3rd. All winter sports athletes should report to the gym after school that day. You can pick up your forms from your coaches. Now back to Chase for more news. Thanks, Owen. Could you use a few days of learning fun? The Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago is offering Cecina students an opportunity to tour the museum and get behind the scenes of the exhibits and inner workings of the museum. This is an exciting chance to learn how science, art, and media communications come together. The experience is a great chance to meet exhibit designers and crafters, advertising personnel, historians, and researchers. The experience is open to sophomores, juniors, and seniors. The event will occur over President's Day, February 16th and 17th. If you think you might be interested in traveling to Chicago and getting behind the scenes, please see Mrs. Smith in room 2 for an application. Applications are due January 31st. Now let's go to Daisy for a look at the weather. Thanks Chase. It's a cloudy day with a high of 42 degrees. We'll have highs in the upper 40s and 30s the next few days with lows in the 30s. Stay warm, Crusaders, and have a good weekend. Now, back to the news. That's it for today's news. Stay classy and give that little extra.